Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. You clicked on this video because you wanna know how to get more comfortable being on camera. You probably look at people on Instagram and YouTube and you're like, dude, these people are so natural, like, that's not fair. How are they so good? How do they look so perfect? Well, stick around because I'm gonna talk to you about the truth and being on camera and what it takes to be comfortable. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm your host, Jen Marilla. If you're new, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I drop new videos. I helped over hundreds of online business owners grow their online business using social media marketing. So you are in great hands today and I'm excited to talk to you about how to be confident on camera, how to get comfortable on camera. And that could be camera, whether it's on YouTube and or Instagram, stories, but today I'm specifically just going to talk about being on camera in general. Okay, so before we get into it, let's be honest here. Speaking to a camera or speaking to a phone is not normal. It's not natural, people don't do it all the time. It just so happens that in this generation, this is what we do. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, I wanna acknowledge you and let you know that this is totally normal. You're not supposed to be unnatural talking to your phone. Like, it's kind of weird. The second thing I wanna say is like, from my personal experience, practice makes perfect. The first time I ever got in front of a camera, the first time I ever started using Snapchat or Instagram stories or anything, it was horrifying. <laughs> like, let me show you. Hi guys! Greetings from across the pond. Like super excited, finally getting this all started. It's been really hard putting together a vlog. It's not as easy as everyone says it is. Just a little heads up. And yeah, I mean, this is technically my first post. I'm really excited. Um, I miss everybody back home. Yeah, I'm currently in London. I'll be here, it looks about another two or three weeks and then hopefully either I'll stay here or I'll be in Spain. Who knows, kind of winging it. Anyways, so yes, this is my first blog post. There's more to come. My adventure from Switzerland. I have a really cool video that I'm editing, which is also not easy. Thanks so much for following, and I'm so excited to get this started and share with you guys all my fun times between here and wherever else I end up. So don't forget to follow all across all my social media platforms and share, 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 share. Thanks guys. As you can see from where I was five years ago to where I am today, I've come a pretty long way. And honestly, the only thing that's helped me is practice, 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 practice. And I gotta be honest with you guys, like sometimes even as someone who's always on camera and is a YouTuber, like I get really insecure about being on camera. There are days that I wake up and I don't wanna be on camera. There are certain tics and nervous habits that people have when they're on camera. For one, mine is, moving my hands. I can't help it. Or because I'm Latina. I don't know. But anyways, my point is that everybody is different and you are uniquely you and it is important to embrace that. When I first started vlogging, when I first started being on stories, when I first started utilizing a camera, I was really, really insecure and I noticed all the things that were wrong with me. But one thing that really helped me to stop that was things that I noticed that were wrong with me. A lot of the times, people did not see them. <laughs> So it's like, oh, it's just in my head kind of thing, right? All right, so before we get into it really quick, I just wanna make one thing clear. The reason you should be using Instagram stories is because as an online business owner, you're building that authenticity between your audience when you're able to show a video. People are more likely to watch videos nowadays than they are to read captions. So just something to really consider as you watch this video, the importance of what it takes to be on social media and create video content. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you some of the tips and tools that I use when I'm filming, when I'm recording myself, whether it's on stories or on YouTube, the kind of strategies that I use, I think this is just like an overall rule of what everybody should use when they are going to be on camera. The first thing that I do is make bullets, make bullets of what I'm going to say. I don't really like to write out a script because I don't really follow scripts. I usually just like highlight, I wanna talk about X, Y, and Z. I only write that because I let myself get in the flow and the feel of actually being on camera. So I'm also someone who works really well when I don't have a script. If I can just have highlighted bullets of what I need to say and I keep track of that, that really helps me to be able to get in the flow and just confidently talk to the camera. Don't overthink it. You want to be in the flow. The reason I don't write out a full script is because then I overthink it and I'm not really like feeling my vibe, doing my thing. Because a lot of the times, like you don't really have time to write out a full script. Imagine if I wrote out every single word that I was going to say on this video. <laughs> nightmare not happening so really really just not overthinking it and going with the flow but the only way you get there is with practice because practice makes perfect if you struggle with confidence if you're like but Jen like how do I actually look at the camera I'm like so worried of what other people will think of me I really want you to consider that the information you're putting out is so valuable and people really really need to hear it you are uniquely you no matter what nobody will ever be you so all the weird quirkiness and all the funny comments and the way that you are like I make tons of mistakes I'm sure my video editor Elena hates me. <laughs> 
for Alina because I make tons of mistakes, right? And it's all part of what it takes to create a video. Another thing that really helps me too is like sometimes I just use sticky notes. If I'm on Instagram stories and I have something I really wanna say, I'll write down the three bullet points on a quick sticky note and I have it right next to my hand when I'm holding the phone. So it's kind of just like a cool little hack, right? Another thing I highly recommend is lighting. You always wanna make sure that you are either standing in front of a window where there is lighting and you're using a ring light like I have and I'm using for this video. I will drop it in the description below if you're interested in getting one. Another tool I also recommend is getting a tripod. Now you can get a tripod for your camera, drop that in the link below and or you can get a tripod for your phone. It really depends on what it is that you are going to be utilizing. But the reason why I like tripods is because it keeps your hands free. And for someone like me, like I said before, <laughs> I like to really keep my hands free because I talk with my hands a lot, as you can see. <laughs> Another thing to really consider is appearance. Now, I'm not gonna say this is extremely important, but I do think it weighs a lot on your personal confidence. I know I can speak for myself that when I feel the most confident is when I'm like dressed up, right? When I have my hair done, when I have makeup, when I have a nice shirt on, I'm not just like rolling out of bed and I look like a hot mess. However, when you're doing stories, I understand that like incorporating some of that natural footage of you without any makeup, like I do, or your hair is a mess, like that's really important too because it builds that authenticity with your brand to let them know that you aren't this like perfect being right but again this goes back to your own confidence and how you feel comfortable I honestly feel the most prettiest without makeup and I kind of love that I put on makeup because I also know that it helps specifically for YouTube videos so you guys see like an actual pretty face <laughs> but for the most part, like appearance, I do think is important. And you don't have to go crazy or fancy and pull like 40 hours of makeup, just kind of maybe some blush or lip gloss or just feeling naturally confident for yourself. The last two tips I'm gonna share, I think are really important. Speaking to a friend. A lot of the times we don't know who's on the other side watching us, right? And so to really think of like your ideal client or maybe that one supporter that you know answers and comments all of your stuff. And the thing is guys that like, I personally can speak for myself when I say there are certain people that I've been following me from the very beginning when I was a travel blogger that are still supporting me today answer every single question I ask them to they watch all my YouTube videos like they are my ultimate cheerleaders and I love them I'm so grateful for them and like so sometimes a lot of the times actually I think of these people like I know who's commenting I know exactly what they're saying and I can just see them in my head and it makes it so much easier for me to actually communicate with them or and tell the story of whatever it is that I'm trying to do so I think that's also a really good way to get comfortable in front of the camera imagine you're talking to your best friend right or someone that you know and you enjoy talking with now this is probably one of the most important tips out of all of this right energy and the reason why I say energy is so important is because imagine if you're watching this video and I just spoke like this and everything I said was so exciting and you just loved it and I was so happy that you subscribed to my YouTube channel versus me telling you that I am psyched that you subscribed to my YouTube channel and I'm so happy you're watching this, right? Like you see the different tones and energy and the way I'm presenting myself. Would you rather watch somebody who's low and isn't really expressing themselves, isn't smiling? Like, no. You would rather watch somebody who is excited to be there because you want to be excited to watch, right? And a lot of the times it goes back to our confidence. When we are speaking low, when we don't have the energy, it's our confidence. It's our confidence level that we're not secure with what we are saying. As I confessed earlier to you guys, a lot of the times I'm exhausted and I don't want to get on camera. So what really helps me is maybe putting on some music and dancing and really getting into the mood, having a cup of coffee, having my matcha because I'm a matcha drinker. Whatever really brings up my energy and brings the next level so that I can show up for you guys on camera 100% me, right? With confidence, feeling that type of way. So I think energy plays a big, big part of it. A lot of the times, if I just really don't wanna show up, I just don't because energetically speaking, if I'm exhausted, I know you guys can see straight through that. Overall, the most important thing is practice, practice, practice. Remember when I first started using Instagram stories, how I utilized Snapchat to really get me comfortable on camera. And to be honest, Snapchat really helped me get comfortable on all kind of camera, right? On like video camera like this. It's taken me years to be able to look at a camera Camera and feel more confident. Now, I used to do vlogging style, meaning like I used to walk around in the street with a camera and talk to the camera. If you guys are interested in learning more about that and like tips that you can utilize for vlogging, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to create a video for you guys that would tailor specifically to vlogging. Because vlogging on the street and being on camera on the street is totally different from being on camera behind closed doors when nobody's around and nobody's looking. A lot of the times you get this like uncomfortable feeling of weirdness. If you're on Instagram stories, it's like 15 seconds and it's not a big deal. But if you're on camera and you're 
literally in front of the public and you're talking to a camera, holding a camera, you do feel kind of awkward. And I definitely feel like I've mastered that before. I don't do it as much as I used to. However, it is something that I absolutely love. Like I said, if you guys are interested in having me do a video on that, I want you guys to drop it in the comments below so I can put that together for you. Remember that when you're creating video, when you're getting on stories, when you're getting on a camera, being uniquely you is what makes people want to see you. So don't be afraid to show people who you are, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong with all your craziness. Cause like I said, you guys, this takes a lot of practice and it takes confidence and confidence individually within yourself and everybody creates confidence within themselves differently. That idea of like looking good makes you feel good. Like, yeah, that's kind of true when you're getting on camera. So if you can find ways to be more confident and it maybe it's in fixing your appearance a little bit or keeping notes of what you wanna talk about, having really good lighting, like this lighting makes me look gorgeous, right? At the end of the day, showing up energetically you and happy and excited to be on camera, that is what's going to build confidence, really just make it a lot easier for you to be online. If you really enjoyed this, out in my free Facebook community group where I'm in there every single day and I'm really helping online business owners build that online business and brand, the link is in the description below. If you really enjoyed this video, then check out these other two videos, how to not have anxiety when you're posting on Instagram, I know that's a big one and how to crush Instagram stories because that's also a really big one. Let me help you remove the stress of figuring out what the heck to post and how the heck to post. So until next time, guys, I will see you soon.